Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js Stripe. Today we are going to learn about how to create a payment link. Okay, in the Node.js Stripe, we are going to learn in this video. Let's have a look on that one. So here we have the create payment link endpoint. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. Here we require the price ID. So we go to the products. Okay, then we have a price ID. I'm going to copy this price ID, right? Copy this, copy it. I'm going to add this price ID over here. Price ID require checkout session, create card, line of items, price ID and the quantity we have added. Okay, and the mode payment. This is this would be the success URL and the cancel URL. You need to mention. If it is generated, that payment link created. So here you can see that there is a method that pay create payment link okay so currently the, i think the, nothing where the payment link is there okay created or something right so let's see where this they, where this met, come over here that the, we have created the payment link let's have a look okay so this is that one and the payment link created and you will get the url of that one okay so, so let's see let's control c and we start the server and uh, let's go and just hit this one create payment link okay so here we have the create payment link okay post api let's send it so here as per indian only registered indian businesses proprietor lies this striped exports not individual can accept the international payments i think there is an issue with the international payments part right so let's make it in the NR. So the price ID might be there is an issue. Let's take the price of INR. Okay. So let's uh, change the price. Let's see if it is removed or not. Okay. Let's try to send this. Now you can see for the Indian part, because this is in the rupees, okay? This is because I'm in the uh, India, so this will work. This is the USD part, okay? So you can see the payment link is generated. If I just reload this one for this, this amount, I think payment link should be generated over here. If I go drag and drop over here, view more logs products so i where it should goes if it is the payment uh, no the cust we have attached the customer let me check we have just the payment link section okay so let's see the what the payment link it's coming up so here we have the link right copy and paste it over here It should be the full fledged link. I need to copy and let's see the how the payment links generates. So here you can see the same thing. The payment link is generated. We get the link and now we have the email card information or something we can add in there and then pay. Let's try to pay it over here. So I think we have the customer already. So we will use this customer. Okay. So I'm going to add it like the customer over here card information anything for okay so any of the month okay cvc add any of the cvc card holder name india pay you can see payment was successfully and it will redirect to the success url okay so let's have a look on that one with this customer with this customer it's coming or we will check with the payments part okay <coughs> that who has paid that one <coughs> i think if it is there i think that should be come up 
so here you can see the dollar no it's october 26 right 7 a.m so you can you can see that 7 a.m so we, this guest payments has been received by this customer customer rajnik on this okay and if i go to the payment section also like here payments any mails they are getting inboxes i think no so here you can see the payments is today payments is done by this one okay so we have successfully generated the payment link and the person is also getting paid and we receive the payment in the admin dashboard also any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day